Shalom, beloved. Shalom, Zakwan. Call Lam La Yahweh by Shem. Yahweh Shah by Shem with Quankadash. And Barakatham to the Ak to the Akyam and the Akwaf on the comment board. Yeah, you know, I just wanted spirit. <laughs> the Holy Spirit jumped on me to do this lesson. And so I'm gonna go into it. No intent on making this extremely long. Just not feeling real well. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, I'll be able to I'll be able to provide an edifying lesson. Shalom. Rakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Kadash. All praises be to the Most High Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing his gospel throughout the four, <laughs> throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that is scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the apostles and elders and great millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, comfort one another. So many brothers and sisters are dealing with all types of different challenges here in the land of captivity. There was a uh, couple of brothers are sick. There was a sister that sent me a note. She lost her job because she refused to teach the ABCDEFG agenda, <clears throat> to put it where the algorithm does not mess with the video. And so um, she said, I'm not teaching that. And that and this job that she had for years, they fired her from her job. <clears throat> so to make a long story short, many brothers and sisters are dealing with anxiety, anger, depression, vexation, and don't be one to add to another brother's anxiety or affliction. Because if that individual cries out to the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, there's hell to pay. But anyway, so we ought to be strengthening each other through words of hope. <coughs> and how do we do that? Because we're promised health and wellness. We're promised eternal life. We're promised to be healed. We're promised to rule over those that rule over us. We're not looking forward to a heaven where a little fat baby is floating around wearing a diaper and playing the violin. That's not the kingdom that we were taught growing up or our grandmother is hanging out at. The kingdom is going to be here on earth. So the comfort is getting the victory through our faith in the doctrine and Yahweh Shai. Let's get this. Shalom, beloved brother, Shapav the 12th, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be, <laughs> be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So all types of stuff is being released through these chemical derailments, these man-made catastrophes. All types of stuff is being released into the atmosphere, being sprayed on us. Shalom, beloved Malak. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Barakatah. So many of us feel feel like we're losing our mind. We're sick. Anxiety is high. We feel afflicted, depressed. So we are the brokenhearted that the Bible talks about. <coughs> so 
So this is the land where sickness is created and literally put on the masses, on the people. So we can't even leave the house without feeling tired, no energy, feeling without strength. So we are engaged in a war on every front. Our mind is being attacked through radio, TV, propaganda, music, medicine, food, water. So without hope in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, we die in place. Let's read that again. First Peter, 5, 1 Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So this is a part of that trial of our faith. This is a part of walking the straight and narrow path and suffering. So there is mercy through our suffering and our faith in Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Galatians 6 and 2, bear ye one another burdens and so fulfill the law of Hamashiach. <laughs> so just hearing a brother do a lesson addressing anxiety, addressing, addressing depression, anger, vexation, that helps to uplift our spirit and comfort us. These words mean something when they're read or when we read them. We feel hope. We feel that we have a chance to get better. We're able to see the light, for lack of better words, the light at the end of the tunnel, through our despair, <coughs> through our vexations. So we are uplifting one another through the, the voice of the Most High, saying it's going to be all right. Just wait a little longer. Just hold on. Just keep the charge. Don't stop. Don't give up. Let's go here. <clears throat> Let's go to the book of Isaiah, not Isaiah. Psalms 38. The book of Psalms, chapter 38, verse 15. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope thou will hear, O Lord, my God. Lord, hear our pleas for help. He hears our frustration, hastening the return or the establishment of a righteous kingdom. He hears our pleas for help while we're sick, while we're feeling tired, no energy, while we're feeling despair. So hearing the Most High's voice comforts us in the wilderness. Imagine wandering through the wilderness and hearing your father saying, I'm close. Follow my voice. Listen to the sound of my voice. Now just imagine when we close our eyes and visualize this thing. So we cannot afflict one another that are suffering underneath bondage, oppression, Psalms 34 and 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his trouble. So that's what the elect is doing. Fighting depression, anxiety, fighting the deep despair. That's what we're dealing with here. Some days I feel like I'm getting ready to lose my mind. So let's not add to one another's burden, but help to comfort one another with the words of wisdom, hope. Let's go here. 
Let's go to the book of First John, chapter 5. Ooh-wee, yep. For the pillars of Benjamin, Sirach 34, Sirach 35, and 14. He will not despise the supplication of the fatherless, nor the widow, when she poureth out her complaint. <coughs> so the captive daughter of Zion, the elect, is crying day and night. Not happy here. Crying for the Lord to intervene, to save us in our distress. So he's going to hear the damsel in distress. Sirach 35 and 15. Do not tears run down the widow's cheek, and is not her cry against him that causeth them to fall? He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. See? So this is why we got to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and how we treat his flock, how we admonish his flock. Are we building them up or are we crushing the Lord's flock? So this is a proceed with caution lot that we are filling, not to be taken lightly. Are we encouraging one another to stay the course, to fight the good fight, to be of good courage. Yeah, you're right, brother. That anxiety demon is real. Depression, anxiety, despair. I'm getting hit with all of them. And then sickness, physically sickness, physical sickness. So these demons are, are bearing a heavy burden against us in this truth, in this walk. Yep, Shalom, beloved brother. Out of Detroit, call her line lot. And how about Shimmy Havashai Barakatha? And I'm not an elder brother, <clears throat> just a big brother. Yep, the water, you how about Shimmy Havashai for access to this truth? Yep, brother Shapab the 12, Luke 18 and 6. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not God avenge his own elect? which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. Beautiful. Yep. So the Lord hears the voice of the sincere, the voice of the brokenhearted, the voice of those that are looking to be built up in the spirit, those that are looking to be comforted, those that are looking to have a restored sense of hope. Yep, beautiful. Isaiah 41 and 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. So this is how we're able to get through the day. I know I'm not the only one feeling like I'm about to lose my mind. So the words that we share with one another comforts each other. The Lord is going to hold our hand. Imagine being lost in the wilderness, hearing the voice of our father saying, don't worry, I'm near. Follow the sound of my voice. Don't be afraid. I can hear you. I'm with you in this thing. As we walk through the valley of darkness, a shadow all around us deep valleys and creeks that we can't see, rivers that we can drop into and drown, cliffs that we can walk off. But the voice of our Father is whispering to us in the wilderness, saying, be of good cheer. Let's get that. Let's get it. Let's go to John 16. The book of John, chapter 16. Verse 22, and ye now, therefore, have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy 
no man taketh away from you. This is heavy. So we can hear the sound of comforting words, healing words. We got a counselor, a psychiatrist, a sociologist. We got a professor of natural medicine in the great book. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking to the disciples. John 16 and 22 again. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again. And your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. So that our heart is our mind. So he knows we have sorrow. He knows that we feel him brokenhearted. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. So if we want understanding, we ask the Father in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. If we want peace of mind, we ask the Father in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. If we want to be healed and strengthened, we ask the Father in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. If we want peace of mind against the anxiety and depression demons, help us, strengthen us, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. John 16 and 33. See, these things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So we're following a winner. We are part of a winning team that can't lose. We are following the victor, the author and finisher of our faith that's comforting us in this tribulation, anguish, anxiety. I know if I'm being hit with these heavy demons, I know I'm not alone. So our brothers or the brotherhood need to hear the words of encouragement, strength, Brother Gabar Adama. Let's go here to the book of Scripture got cut off. Yep. Revelation 3 and 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eyesaf that thou mayest see. So through this truth, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. How? Through Bible prophecy. See? So we know the end is near, which means death of this kingdom is going to be conquered and swallowed up. And when the baby of Jacob is delivered, is going to see the light of the new glorious kingdom. So we can see that light through Bible prophecy with the gift of understanding. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Beautiful. So we're able to eat of the bread from heaven. So that gives us comfort in our hunger for knowledge, our thirst for wisdom. So we are being eased or put at rest by being able to partake in this spiritual manner from heaven. Beautiful. Second Ezra 14 and 15. And set... Second Ezra 14 and 15, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee 
to flee from these times. This is a quiet resting place when we're studying the scriptures. It's like a, a small tabernacle or a small sanctuary. How many feel that way when we're reading the Bible? Fear not, my servant Jacob, neither be dismayed. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So we're able to find a quiet resting place in the scriptures. So this is where we hide ourselves from the traffic, from the noise of the hustle and bustle of this chaotic kingdom under Edom. This is our solace, our rest, when we're hiding ourselves in the good book. Let's go here. 1 John 5 and 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So when we believe we have the victory through Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, we've already won. We're just going through the motions of the Most High's movie watching the events take place. 1 John 5 and 5, Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Yahweh Shai is the Son of the Most High? So though we walk through the valley of sickness, anxiety, depression, anger, frustration, <laughs> we're able to find stable ground in our walk by having faith that we're going to be delivered out of these conditions. Our wives are going to be in their right mind. Our children are going to be in their right mind. We're not going to be working for a tyrant anymore. I thought I told you to bring my damn car around and shine those rims. Go get the damn keys and get away from here. You see, so we're dealing with vexation at every angle. Supervisors, leaders, the leadership structure here under the daughter of Babylon is corrupt. The religious leaders are corrupt. You see, so we're facing vexation at every turn. The school board and administration is corrupt, teaching our kids it's okay to be confused of your gender. And if we speak out against it, toxic masculinity. So we are faced with what appears to be hopeless, but are seeking and obtaining comfort in the scriptures. See, the brother said he's at the plantation right now. And you always got a coworker eavesdropping on you to go back and tell boss, he ain't working, boss. See? May Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai judge those that afflict us. We just got to cry out to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in our affliction and bondage. 1 John 5 and 6. This is he that came by water and blood, even Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that bears witness because the spirit is truth. So we have the victory, brothers, sisters. So we're just being spiritually built up. So we're being strengthened through the spirit of truth, which comes with adversity. It comes with pain, suffering, being brokenhearted, downtrodden. I'm depressed, got anxiety, all types of stuff going on heavy demons, but I know I'm not the only one. So this is why the burden or the onus is to bear each other's stresses and distress. And this is how we help to give charity and healing the sick among us. Let's go to Psalms 56 and 11. A book of Psalms chapter 56 and 11. And God 
have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what men can do unto me. So being sprayed like raid with the chemical trails, more chemical derailments that are planned, by the way. I've lost count how many there have been. We're sick. We got breathing problems. We got circulation problems. We got digestive problems. Our anxiety is off the chart. Our depression is high. Brother Shalom Israel Triple Seven, yep. James 5 and 10. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Woo, wait, ask thy fathers, and they shall tell thee. See, so we, our teachers, our, our big brothers, the elders, the apostles, these are the spirits that endured the pain and were, was able to be comforted through the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So we have an, an example to follow. We have a blueprint, a guideline by which we can adhere to. So the scriptures are the in all be all in our affliction and persecution. We got teachers the most high has given us. So we know we have not been forsaken because we can hear his voice in this walk in the valley of the shadow of death, sickness, and mourning. Psalms 56, verse 11. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. So this was King David under the persecution of the Philistines. But it can apply today. Yep, woo wee. Shalom, beloved brother, I'm off your eyes from your howard, the Barak of Thought. <clears throat> yep, Psalms 34 and 17. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of their trouble. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. So we're leaning on a sure foundation. We're leaning on the spiritual power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, that does not lie, that cannot fail, and that delivers on his promises. He says that his word will not return unto him void. He says he's going to remember the days of old. And he says that he's going to return us to the promised lands that he promised our fathers. He says, fear not, my servant Jacob, and ye men of Israel, and be not afraid, for I will deliver you from afar. <coughs> so he's going to come as a thief in the night and save us out of our trouble, out of our despair, anxiety, depression, anger, vexation of spirit. Brother Shapav the 12, Proverbs 20 and 20. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on the Lord and he shall save thee. So we gotta wait on him. Just like a meal is being prepared, and we can hear our stomach growling. Rawr. We're full of anxiety, vexation of mind. We're full of irritability. But through the comfort and our faith in this spiritual word, the spiritual meal, we're able to relax and obtain solace, peace. Let's go to 2 Timothy 
1. A book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. <laughs> For God had... <laughs> 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So many of us thought we were going to lose our mind. We lost our job. We lost our kid. We lost our spouse. We lost our home. We lost our car. We lost our friend. We thought we were going to lose our life, our mind. But through the spirit and power from on high, when we thought we were alone, when we thought we were alone and afraid, we heard the voice in the wilderness saying, Fear not, my little flock. It is the Father's good will and good pleasure to give us the kingdom. I believe that's Luke 12 and 32. Yep, Romans 12 and 17. Recompense to no man, evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you. Live peaceably with all men. Beautiful. So what better peace, what better joy than to understand that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we got next. The Bible says, those that led us into captivity shall go into captivity. The Bible says, those that afflict you shall feel the recompense of their error. <coughs> Let's go to the second. So who is Timothy written by? Well, it's directed. Timothy is an understudy of Paul. So the book of Timothy and Hebrews are spiritually inspired. Sakari. Well, let's go here. So this is why we don't have the spirit of fear. Let's go to 2 Timothy 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So this is why he have not given us the spirit of fear because we're able to obtain eternal life, rest, and eternal joy through the ministry. To Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Hamashiach our Lord. I thank the Most High whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. And this goes to show that we are to pray without ceasing. These demonic attacks are relentless. The devil does not put on a wave cap and some damn slippers at night and put on the sheet or the blanket and rest or relax. So this is why we're crying out day and night. The devil does not take a break and go and lie and hear the waves crashing upon the beach shore with a damn little drink with an umbrella sticking out of it. So we are under relentless attacks by dark energy, wickedness, spiritual wickedness in high places. Brother Ariyat Ayah Shalom Barakatha, Colossians 4 and 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. So we can speak life or death into the brotherhood. We can speak despair or hope throughout the brotherhood. We can speak a broken heart or soul and men a heart together through our words. So we have to bridle our tongue 
in this walk and walk in wisdom? Are we building or are we tearing down? Let's go here. We're going to close out Psalms, the book of Psalms 27 and 1. <coughs> A psalm of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So it's easy for our, our it's easy for our anxiety to go off the chart. Hearing about martial law, World War III, the sea hit being mandated, economic collapse, the dollar falling, not being able to pay our mortgage, our car note, car payment, not being able to get groceries. Some of us have child support to pay. So it's easy to lose our damn mind. But without the faith and the comfort of the promises of our Heavenly Father telling us while we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, listen to the sound of my voice. Don't worry about how you're going to eat. I'm near. Don't worry about how you're going to pay your bills. Don't fear. Don't worry about losing your home. I'm near. Don't worry about your family turning against you. We have a spiritual family. We can't see or hear, but are around us in our walk through the straight and narrow path. We got to look up. The Bible says, look up for our redemption is drawing near. Yet the water for the prayer, beloved sister, beloved Aqua. Psalms 27, verse 2. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and failed. Don't worry about martial law, federal troops. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord is saying, hear my voice. I told you I will be there for you. I'm near. So hear. Did not Yahawashai say, peace, be still. When the waves and the waters begin to make a tumult and the waves roared and it looked like the storm was going to overtake the crew. So our enemies is going to come in like a storm. Why do you think we use the term storm troopers? Or when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Through Yahweh Shai, he's going to say, peace, be still. So we're going to be at rest when our enemies are in despair, in distress. Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. It is not the is not the life more than the meat and the body than raiment. If the most high can make sure the birds are fed and have a nest, why are we worried about where we gonna get our next meal? Where are we gonna lay our head? The bird is not worrying about where they're gonna get their next purchase of real estate or a lot of land. So are we not more important than the fowls of the air? So the Lord has his eyes on those that trust on him and will never fail. Psalms 27 and 3. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. So war is coming domestically and globally. War is coming. So this entire grid is going to be locked down. And they're going to use digital technology to put every damn body on house arrest. 
even those that love their slave master. He's going to say, come on in here and get stamped. We don't know who you are who you say you are. We have all types of viruses on a computer, foreign terrorists, computer hacking going on. So now you need certified credentials. You need biometrics now to get on the internet, by the way, or to travel abroad, or to go shopping, or to fly. That way we can validate your credentials as a certified U.S. citizen. Why you think they just let a flood of illegal immigrants across the border? Most recently, seven million. So they're going to use that order out of chaos to say, we don't really know who's a loyal U.S. citizen or a valid taxpayer. So now we need a digital barcode to know with absolute certainty who's ours or who is a foreign third country national. So the stage is being set. Psalms 27 and 3. No a host should encamp against me. My heart shall not fear. No war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. So we're confident in the promises and the words that do not fail of our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's read one more. So the elect fear him and trust on him. Sirach 10 and 19. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed. They that, trust, they that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. So the Lord is faithful to his noble vine, an honorable plant. A hopeful elect of the house of Israel. So we have faith through the spiritual ram and our heavenly father that never failed our forefathers, that never failed or could not deliver on his word. Comfort one another with these words nested with Bible prophecy. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Hashem, or Kakadash. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Hopefully, this has been an edifying lesson. <coughs> Barack a thumb, and see you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Palm Yasharela in the Bible. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom. Barack a thumb.